What DAW do you use and why? Now, the DAW I use is Pro Tools. And the reason I use Pro Tools, multiple reasons, and one of them is not the price because it is ridiculously expensive. Um, the main reason is I know Pro Tools inside out. That's the main reason, right? When you know a door inside and out, you're going to work better on it. Now, the best door you can use is the one you know inside and out. That's my honest answer when it comes to what door you should be using. So learn the door. Once you learn that door, that's the one to use. Don't go switching from one to the other. Understand the shortcuts, understand everything there is to know about it, and then use that door. They're all pretty much the same, right? The thing, one thing that separates one door from another is maybe the stock plugins, right? Feature wise, they're all pretty much the same, right? There's some that are very far behind, there's some that are close Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, Reaper, Studio One, all these doors very close. Now, the reason I use Pro Tools, number one, I know it inside and out. Number two, Avid S4, right? I'm kind of locked into it now. The problem with that is, is the S4 is incredible. And if you don't know what the S4 is, let me show you that console behind me. That is basically a control surface and it controls every aspect of Pro Tools. You can use it with other DAWs, but it is, an Avid product, so it's built for Pro Tools. So all the shortcuts, everything you can do, you can access it off of the, the control surface. That's the main two reasons why I use it. And yeah, I use, I, look, I use Pro Tools for mixing. I use Pro Tools for mastering. If I was recording, I would use Pro Tools. If I was producing, I'd maybe not use Pro Tools. Um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Pro Tools if you're not recording, mixing, or mastering, because production, you know, you could, there's Pro Tools. I've never found Pro Tools to be specifically built for producing. You can produce in it, don't get me wrong, but it's not specifically built for that. Whereas something like FL Studio, that is specifically built for production. It's not necessarily a mixing tool. You won't find any high end professional mix in engineer who is using Fruity Loops, for instance, or FL Studio. That is more production. So Pro Tools, I, I've, I don't feel like it's a production door. I find it's more for recording, more for mixing, and more for mastering. It's more for those aspects, not so much producing. But yeah, they're the reasons, they're the main reasons why I use Pro Tools. And the one of the reasons I use Pro Tools is not the price. The price is ridiculous. The price is very expensive, especially if you want the ultimate version, which is what we've got to use in all of our studios. And, you know, it gets expensive. I think we're paying about £80 per studio per month, which many of you would just be going, what? Like when you think about it, you've got people who are on Logic, right? People who are on Logic, they're paying, I think it's £199. And that's it. One off payment, you get all the updates. I, I even, I've got Logic and I even got an update to the latest version of Logic from Pro X uh, up to the, whatever the next one is. So it is a bit of a kick in the teeth when it comes to Pro Tools. I am locked in. I have got a little bit of that Stockholm Syndrome with it and I cannot get away from it. That's that's the big, big problem with Pro Tools is once you're locked in, there's no real getting away. The other one other reason actually as well is they say people say Pro Tools is the industry standard. And in some ways that is true. The majority of studios that you go into. Uh, especially if they're high-end studios. I'm not talking about production studios. If you go in a production studio, most probably you're going to walk in and see Logic. If you're going into any mixing studio, mastering studio, not, maybe not necessarily mastering studio, but majority of mixing studios, recording studios, you're going to most probably see Pro Tools. It is good to understand and know Pro Tools. 
even if you don't use it. Because when people say it's the industry standard, it's kind of because when you do go into studios, and I know this from my own experience, nine times out of ten, every studio we go into is Pro Tools or, on the one occasion, Logic. And it's good to understand Pro Tools and know what you're doing on Pro Tools, especially just knowing the shortcuts, knowing how to get your way around a um, get your way around the DAW. So, yeah. It's kind of that is one of the reasons why I use Pro Tools because it's transferable. Any studio, any studio that I go to, I'm usually sitting on Pro Tools. And if I understand Pro Tools and no understand Pro uh, understand Pro Tools like the back of my hand, I'm walking into that studio and just kind of, you know, picking up where I left off. So yeah, Pro Tools and trust me, it's not because of the price that I use it. 